Martha. Martha. I'm Martha Abbott from Underhill. Um, I share the, the terror and frustration that people have expressed, um, and I've shared that for a long time, but I think we have to remember what has made change happen in a democracy over the last um, number of decades and centuries is all of these things need to be happening. We have to push legislation that's achievable. We have to push people in election campaigns, candidates, we have to run for office, we have to create a mass movement, we have to have that vision, we have to have those goals, we have to do all of that all at the same time. Because it's all of that movement happening together that really works to make things happen. Um, I want to get back to, oh, and also fight for wind power because it's gotten a really bad rap. Um, but I want to get back to just really practical, nitty gritty little things that might help. And one of them to me is, can't we have more park and ride space? Yeah. You know, why is it that it's like a well-kept secret where you can find a park and ride, and when you want a carpool from Richmond to Montpelier, the lot is full and people are parked all over the green spaces and really what you have to do is drive into Richmond and park behind the town hall because there is no other space. And I don't know how many people give up and say, well, I'm not going to try carpooling for now, That's a top issue. Um, I mean, isn't this a simple thing? Can we mandate how many park and ride spaces each county by simple. population has to have since the AOT just doesn't seem to get the message? We are. We <laughs> We will have 140 spaces in Williston this time next year. Yes. Uh, we are increasing those investments in this year's T-bill and on down the road. It is a, an extremely simple solution. It's relatively cost effective and you cut a single travel vehicle in half, right? Uh, so it's, a lot of us have been beating on this one for a while and it's starting to, to shift. The ship of V-Trans is coming on board. Yeah. Just a, can I make a, a quick comment on that? I went to a regional planning commission meeting on transportation, and they said putting in parking rides is like pulling teeth in this state. It yep. can and the be. problem is the, the host town yep. Yep. puts up all sorts of barriers. So if you live in a town that wants one of these things, you got to go and fight for it. Yep. Because your town officials are saying, no way unless you meet all these requirements. 